Welcome back to my channel everyone and get ready to set out on a jungle adventure with the Beach Bizarre by Visita Parfum. A fragrance with hints of green and marine, ideal for summer and full of surprises. With the word bizarre in its name, you're in for a sensory experience like no other. My first reaction was to dismiss the scent as barbershop cologne. There is a sharpness to this type of manly concoction that rarely appeals to me. And yet, something kept me from moving on to the next perfume sample I had in front of me that day. Beach Bazaar clearly has its own story to tell, one of many contrasts. Checking out the notes on the brand's website, a new perspective emerged for me as an alternative to the traditional of factory pyramid divided into top, middle and bottom notes, the brand opts for sun and fun notes and anxiety strikes notes. This dichotomy is emphasized in the sense description. Let me read it to you. Holiday in the sun, playing on the white sand, relaxing under rustling palm trees. Suddenly darkness falls, you start to shiver and your heart beats faster. The velvety black night closes in, the endless crashing of the waves holds a dangerous attraction. Home seems further away than ever before. Here are the notes related to this narrative. Um, gardenia, ylang ylang, lime, tropical fruit and sea salt make up the sun and fun half of the fragrance as part of its anxiety strikes half. Seaweed, cumin, cannabis, patchouli, and ambergris are used. As for how accurate these notes are to convey such contradictory moods, I would say their articulation is outstanding and it takes an expert perfumer to create palpable tension from a limited number of materials. Then I realized the fragrance was a Patrice Réviard's creation. In case you're unfamiliar with his name, you need to know that he won an international competition intended for professionals um, to reconstruct the legendary Iris Gris by Jacques Fat, one of the finest perfumes in collective memory. So it's no coincidence that um, Beach Bizarre comes over as a perfectly blended fragrance oozing depth and finesse. With that being said, um, my experience differs slightly from the brand's narrative. I'll share my impressions with you. Upon first sniff, I am swept away into a lush tropical jungle filled with fruit, flowers and vegetation. Um, the colors are vibrant and the aromas are zesty. I'm also picking up sea spray nearby. It doesn't take me long to get to the beach. And soon the genius of the place becomes the one with me. It all looks perfect. Within moments, the tide rises, carrying seaweed strands that cling to my skin and my nose is assaulted by the, by the aroma of freshly crushed cannabis leaves as I retreat to the jungle. I'm no longer alone. Is it a good or bad thing? I still haven't found the answer to that question, but does it really matter? This element of intrigue makes the scent much more compelling than your usual coconutty beach fragrance. It also makes it sexier, in my opinion. Why does the scent remind me of a jungle bordering the sea or the ocean? A rich aroma of green, musky, bittersweet notes wafts from the olfactory trio of cannabis, cumin, and patchouli. My mental image of it is a dense canopy of leaves and tree branches, soil and decaying plants. Um, this is nature's primal scent. It's beautiful yet daunting. Ambergris and um, seaweed give the fragrance an aquatic feel. However, when paired with green notes, they also create a sense of humid jungle air. The fruit and flower notes um, pop up first, but um, it's difficult to pin them down except for lime. And my skin loses their bright tones quickly. 
for all its cheerful facets, Beach Bazaar is first and foremost a haunting scent. Um, Visitor Parfum owner wanted to design a fragrance from his own experience. At the age of 18, long before he launched his perfume brand in Sweden, Janne Heiner Wodenma took a trip to the Dominican Republic where he parted a lot. One day, he found himself on the beach having a panic attack, probably from exhaustion and homesickness, feeling uh, sucked in by the ocean. As to the reason why he asked Patrice Riviere to craft such a uh, traumatic moment into perfume, it stems from his belief that um, perfume should reflect who we are as humans. We are not always happy, confident, sexy or successful. Life can be fun but also dark and rough sometimes. Hence, Beach Bizarre, um, a true example of a niche perfumery combining light and dark. Um, in case you're still unsure about trying it out, fear not my friends, as bizarre as it may seem, the fragrance is a pleasure to wear. Its artful assemblage makes it an excellent option for almost any occasion and time of year. Though it's more of a man scent, it would smell incredible on a woman too, uh, just in the same way that so-called feminine scents sometimes smell better on men. Uh, additionally, staying power is not an issue. The fragrance is persistent uh, with noticeable sillage for about half its wear time. Um, Beach Bazaar was released in 2020, a brand that pushes creativity boundaries is one I like. A brand that does not compromise on raw material quality is one I value even more. A brand that teams up with superior artists to develop fragrances that please and amaze is one I fully endorse. For all these reasons, Visiteur Parfum deserves more attention. Be sure to sample Beach Bizarre. Um, if it suits your style, I have no doubt it will be something you love, not just something you like. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's always a challenge for me to provide reviews in English. However, um, I really want to share my experiences with you um, to help you make informed decisions when selecting your next scent. Giving me a thumbs up or subscribing to my channel is a wonderful gesture when you enjoy my content. I would greatly appreciate your help. As always, feel free to reach out with any questions or suggestions. And remember to stay open to beauty wherever you find it. Take care. Bye-bye. Merci à tous d'avoir regardé cette vidéo. Uh, si vous aimez mon contenu, la plus belle chose que vous puissiez faire pour m'encourager, c'est de me donner un like ou de laisser un commentaire ou bien sûr de vous inscrire à ma chaîne. Je vous en remercie infiniment d'avance. Et en attendant la prochaine critique, laissez-vous guider et inspirer par la beauté où que vous soyez et où que vous alliez. A bientôt, au revoir.